For child-based preference assessments, we have three types. So we have single stimuli, paired stimuli, and multiple stimuli. For single stimuli, we're going to present one item at a time and record how long the child engages with that item. So instead of just in the free operant, we're sitting back, we're watching what they engage with, we're instead going to bring the stimuli and present one item at a time. So maybe we present the balloon, record how long they engage it with that, then maybe we do the car, then the slime, then some blocks, and record how long they engage with each item to kind of start to identify preferences. Then for paired stimuli, we're gonna offer two items at a time and give the child a choice, and we're gonna record which item they choose. So maybe we do the balloon, okay, which one do you want? The balloon or the slime? Then maybe it's the slime and the car. Maybe it's the car and the balloon. And with this, the more stimuli that have stimuli that ha stimuli that you have, the longer it's going to take because you have to pair each with one another. And so that's just something to consider depending on your learner and how long that they can sustain attention for and things like that. Then we have multiple stimuli. So in this, instead of two, we're going to offer an array and then again record which item the child chooses and how long they engage with it.